Hello guys, in today's video we will talk about molting, a very important aspect of crayfish's life. Now if you don't know yet what is molting. Molting is generally the process every crustaceans grow, uh, go through for growing their body. By, crustace by crustaceans I mean shrimps, crayfishes etc. So this is a very vital process for their life and they go through this process in order to grow larger, develop their body. Molting is a lot like changing our dress, okay. Suppose uh, a, the crayfish is about 1 inch, I am just giving a simple example, the crayfish is about 1 inch, so its exoskeleton is, will also be 1 inch. Now when the crayfish gets a little bit bigger, then the 1 inch size exoskeleton will not fit into the crayfish's body. That's why what the crayfish will do is it will shed off its old exoskeleton and grow a new one that can fit into its body. This whole process is called molting. So molting is very very important as I have said and in crayfish's life molting is one of the most vulnerable times the crayfish has to pass because during molting other uh, similar sized fishes can pick on the crayfish can stress him how can stress him out and also kill the crayfish yes that can happen so uh, that's why during the molting process you will need to be very attentive and careful towards your crayfish and see if it is doing all right now um, one of the most common reasons for crayfish death can be molting failure. I have talked about that in my crayfish death uh, video, most common reasons for crayfish death that video. So uh, what is this molting failure? When the crayfish gets too old then uh, it doesn't have the strength to go through the molting process. Uh, molting takes a lot of energy from the crayfish's body so when it is too old it can't produce that kind of energy and as a result uh, the molting process gets disrupted the crayfish flips over or it stays still it doesn't move things like that so if it is uh, happening like that you will need to uh, take a quick look around your crayfish and see what you can do to help him around actually there isn't much to do except for uh, looking carefully um, also uh, molting failure can also happen if the diet is not very good because lack of iodine calcium etc can also lead to molting failure that's why um, if you are feeding only one type of food to a crayfish you can experience this that's why i'll always recommend to feed multiple types of food to your crayfish so that it can enjoy a balanced nutrient and minerals and vitamins if you are seeing uh, molt, uh, molting failures, then I will suggest you to feed uh, foods that are high in iodine, calcium, etc. One quick, uh, one good solution can be shrimps or prawns with their heads on. The head will be a good source of iodine. So uh, these are some of the things you can do to help your crayfish mold. Um, I'm afraid there aren't many things that you can do if your crayfish is facing difficulty with molting because at that stage it is already too late. You will have to do things from the very beginning. You will have to feed him, uh, you will have to feed, uh, feed the crayfish a balanced diet, good diet. You will have to keep the water parameters right, the environment clean, uh, environment clean good filtration etc. So if you keep all these things right, then hopefully your crayfish will not have to go through this uh, detrimental uh, molting failure and it will live a longer and happier life. I hope you have found the video helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Thank you.